it's been a lovely process of waking up and my curls being as curly as they can be and just really appreciating them and, and being like I, I wouldn't have it any other way. Hey, I'm Yara Shahidi and I love my hair. Because one, it's a quite literal representation of the amalgam of identities that make myself um, who I am because it's a mixture of the curls that my bubba has and a mixture of the curls that my mama has. We all have different curl patterns and I, I just love how uniquely individual our curls are to us in representing who we are and representing our heritage. I feel like hair is one of the best examples of how non-monolithic one community can be. And also, I can't help but to take up space when my hair is out. And so I feel like it's constantly served as a reminder that I deserve to take up the space that I'm in. Like, oh, can people see behind me again? And walking in with this amount of hair on my head, I have had to feel confident, and it's helped me feel confident in saying that I deserve to be here and in saying that I'm comfortable being seen and visible. I have always really loved my hair. There was a period of time where I did straighten my hair quite a bit, and it started actually for work purposes. I had never really straightened my hair until it was requested for work. And then I remember that kind of subliminal idea of feeling more polished when my hair was straightened, or even those moments of people just saying like how much better they liked my straight hair. Because there's all sorts of politics put, put behind respectability and who's considered polished and professional. It's been an ongoing conversation just about how we feel best and how we feel ourselves, especially in um, spaces and industries that make you feel as though you are the anomaly for whatever reason. Well, my mommy has always been right there in the styling and caring for my hair. I mean, so many times we have this conversation on self-love as though it's just something you wake up and decide. Like, today I love myself. Great. And that can be nerve-wracking, if anything, this idea when you aren't waking up and feeling that way, it feels nerve-wracking, like, am I the only one going through this? Am I the only one who isn't head over heels in love with myself and what's happening? So to have somebody to look up to who's been extremely transparent in their own kind of journey with hair, what it signifies about, or what the larger conversation about our features and our heritage, both figuratively and physically, quite literally. So I really couldn't have had anybody better in this journey. I think first and foremost, how you decide to wear your hair is completely up to you. And I know so many times there's pressure swaying either way, being like, well, you're not committed enough if you're not natural, or, oh, you're doing this, or, or falling into this trope. And, and so I, I think, one, acknowledging the autonomy that we have over self and saying that your hair is what you want it to be and what you want it to represent, and no one else can put upon you what your hair represents. To the young girls that look up to me, find a support network and know that they're out there because there's nothing more motivating than being able to turn to people that are your age, being able to turn to people that are older and younger than you and have that safety net of knowing that as scary as the world can be, as scary as the world is at times, there are people that are looking out for you. The thing I love about social media is that it's really created a global community. I love being able to have friends from across the world and learn about things that I never would have otherwise. The thing I hate about social media is that it creates false metrics to measure the worth of our life. So many times it's, we act as though it's a holistic portrayal of us, which is dangerous both ways, as both an audience member and as both somebody who's putting media out there. I'd have to say the reason that I'm socially engaged is because my family gave me a, a foundation, both educationally and social, in which it was inherent and innate to care about other people. And I, I think in terms of what keeps me inspired, it may sound vague, but being purpose-driven has been really important in our life. Just making sure that even the smallest things have a great effect. Having my own Barbie is really exciting and surreal, mainly just because I'm a part of a collection full of women that I genuinely love and admire. Um, so to be with them is just a crazy honor because I, I never even thought of myself as doing the work that they're doing. Mm -hmm.